Hi, you guys. All right, so this, um, by request, is going to be a nice um, little session to release some tension and stress in the upper body, mainly the shoulders and the upper back, um, lower back a little bit too, but all that upper body, chest opener and so forth. So have a strap. We're going to use a strap. And it's going to feel really nice. A little break you can take from whatever you're doing. Um, a lot of screen time these days, so go ahead and um, have a seat. Okay. Okay, and then just sitting, sit tall. Close your eyes for a minute and just take a couple deep breaths, deep, long breaths. And then you have one leg placed in front of the other as we sit cross leg here. And then just slowly walk the hands forward. So I'll sit back. And walk over toward the right. Crossing over to the left side now. Back to the center and come up. Switch the leg that's in the front so you'll feel a little more on the other uh, hip now. Walk the hands forward again. Walk the hands over toward the left. Still reaching far. Coming across to the right. And back to the center. And walk again. Okay. So we're going to go right into using our strap. So grab your strap. And these can be done seated. They can be done standing as well. Okay, so grab your strap and we're gonna do a series of poses. So you want it to be nice and taut overhead. You want your arms to be straight. Okay, so if, you're, if your elbows are bent like this, then take the hands apart until your arms can be straight overhead. Okay, draw your abs in, kind of puff the chest out forward. Okay, and the strap is right above you slightly. Well, right above you right now, okay? And just pull on the strap. So you're trying to break the strap in the middle. Just pull, and notice if you're not pulling, your shoulders are not really engaged. You're just holding kind of the strap. You wanna make it taut the whole time. So like you're pulling the strap again. Pull. Good. And then exhale, take the strap behind you. And then inhale, bring it right overhead. Exhale, back. And your abs come in, your chest puff is, puffs forward. Close. Inhale, come up. Exhale, back. Good, three more times. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, back. Inhale it up, take it actually all the way forward, exhale, then inhale, lift, exhale back, and this time take it a little deeper and hold, keep those arms straight, if it feels too intense, loosen up a little bit, take your arms a little further apart, keep pulling on the strap, the arms are totally engaged. You can take five breaths here. Now four. Three. Two more. And inhale, come 
them up and bring it down. Good, and then we're gonna shorten it a little bit so the distance is a little shorter in between each hand. Bring the arms overhead again. And then you wanna bring your left arm really close to your left ear, like straight up. And then you're gonna kinda of swivel the left arm behind you. Like take it back behind you. Good, so the left arm straight up alongside the ear in front. And you're pulling. The idea is to pull the whole time with both hands. Tapping into a little bit of different muscles in the upper back and shoulders. And then come forward, bring the right arm now close to the ear, straight up. Take that left arm back and pull. I think it might be the lats. I feel the upper back muscles engaged. Let's do that again on each side. So when the one goes back, the other one is straight up next to the ear. back, last one, and coming back. Okay, so arms overhead now, pull the strap behind the head, and then we're going to bend the elbows, bend the elbows, Good. like a pull-up bar, I guess, bring the elbows down, inhale it up. Exhale, bend the elbows, take it back, and up, and back. Good. And up. Okay, so now we're going to bring the hands together on the strap. Ooh, shake it out a little bit for the hands. Bring the hands together on the strap, and then the arms overhead, and then we're going to take the strap you're right behind your head, so your hands are, but the elbows are out like mine here. And then pull the strap, and then push the chest forward, and look up, and hold. The back of your head's kind of leaning into a little bit of the strap that's in between the grips. Feel those shoulders engage, bringing them toward each other, keep pulling. And come back. Hmm. All right. Check it out again. And now interlace um, the hands behind the back. So I'll turn to the side here. Interlace the fingers. And try to lift your arms now straight as high as you can. So just lift. Keep lifting. Draw the belly in. The chest puffs out forward. Keep lifting. Okay, and this is a new one. I found this one in an old book of uh, Eric Schiffman, an old book of mine. So you're gonna keep your hands interlaced, bend the elbows, take the hands around to the side, and then push the palms together and try to push the elbows toward each other. Feeling it kind of in the front. I feel it in the front of the left shoulder right now. One more breath here. Good. Release. Interlace the arms. Um, straighten the arms again. They're still staying interlaced. Let's hold for a couple breaths with the lift. And now bending the elbows. Tuck the hands in on the left side of the waist. Push the palms together and bring the elbows as much as you can toward each other. And now I feel it in the right side straight. Quite a bit. Good, and release it back and release. Shake that out. Okay, and then bring the right arm above for eagle arm prep. 
Take that right hand down the center of the back, raise your left arm and just grab the elbow. A classic tricep stretch here. Actually, this is uh, the cow face prep, not the eagle arm prep, but we are doing this before eagle arms, actually. And release, okay. And the other side, left arm up. Hand down the middle of the back. And release. Okay, so now eagle arms bring the elbows in front. Take the right elbow on the inner left crease, wrap around. Push the palms together and lift the elbows. So your triceps are parallel to the floor. If you want to add a little more of an opening, lift even higher and look up. And come back, release, lower the elbows. Other side, wrap around. Hold first, forward. And then if you want to go a little deeper, raise those elbows, look. And come back. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and do the cow face pose now. So sitting cross-legged or tuck in um, the left foot and then stack your knees. So the knees are stacked and then you kind of bring the feet out a little bit if that works or keep them tucked in. Okay, so the right leg's on top. So we'll go ahead and have the left arm reach up. You can use your strap and have the strap, a hold of the strap, okay? And then take your right arm under, grab the strap. Start walking toward each other with the strap. Maybe you're right here. Hold. Um, if you can reach for the fingertips, go for that. And breathe. Five breaths. And release that down. Roll the shoulders a couple times. Okay, and the other side. Right arm up, left arm reaches up the back. Staying with the, um, the leg on top. Did I switch legs? I don't know if I did. I think I, we just switched arms. Take a forward fold. And come up. Sit back. Fold. So now we're going to lie down on our stomach for some cobra lifts, okay? So hands below your shoulders, elbows really close into the body. Inhale, push the hands into the floor and lift the chest, okay? Drop the shoulders, just hold. And exhale, come down. Let's go for about a minute. Just keep inhaling and coming up, exhaling and lowering. Keep moving through.
That's getting too intense. Just do little lifts. Okay, so this is for the back. So we want to work the back as well if we're sitting a lot at our computers. Let's just work the back muscles now. Raise the arms. And let's take a bigger cobra now, lift. Okay, elbows in for rib cage, shoulders drop, gaze up. And roll on down, okay. All right, take the hands down, palms face up. And we're just gonna lift now for a locust lift, lift the upper body, go ahead and lift the legs, bring the heels together. And lower the legs, bring the hands down, come up for child's pose. Sneak back, reach forward. And then coming up. So not one last chest opener, heart opener, upper body, shoulder work um, is fish pose. So this is a, a intro form, really nice one, just sitting up. And then take your hands, fingers face back, take them behind you. And push your hands in forward now and just lift forward and up, look up. And then lift your chin first, come up, and then now try bringing your hands closer to the body. Try it this way now. Push the hands in the floor, same thing, lift the chest. And then bring the chin back level, and now take your hands further away from the body. Okay. And lift the chest, push the hands in the floor. Back of the arms are engaged as well. Lift the chin and come back in the full extent. We'll lower down now to our forearms. Same thing again, push the forearms now into the floor. And lift the chest. And then roll on down on your back. And then reach underneath your thighs. Push the elbows into the floor. Lift up again, take the top of the head on the floor behind you. Keep pushing the elbows in the floor. Imagine it like a puppet heart string lifting you straight up toward the ceiling. And then push the elbows into the floor and roll back down. Bring your knees into the chest. Hug them in, and let's do a little hip opener. Drop the left foot to the floor, cross the right foot over, reach the hands behind that left thigh. Right arm comes between and just pull in. And release, switch sides. Roll on up, okay. Take a forward fold, nice and slow. And come up. And now, for your eyes. So they say that we should take a break every 20 minutes um, from looking at a screen, if you're looking at a screen about this distance from you, and uh, look off, like um, look off 20 feet, I believe it is. Every 20 minutes, yeah, look like 20 feet away for 20 seconds. That's what I read, the 20-20-20 rule. Um, I'm sure there's guidelines that probably have similar times, but it sounds good. Every 20 minutes, take a break. And so we're gonna do that now, just take a break and look off to the distance. 
because we are using different muscles when we look that way rather than just focusing in at something so close to us all the time. Okay, so that's good to do and to remember that. And now go ahead and rub the eyes. Rub the eyes. Oh my goodness. All these silly things I'm saying wrong. And I'm not going to edit it out because that's too much work that I don't know how to do. So rub the hands. Okay. It's really warm. And then a little bit of pressure on over the eyes now. With your eyes open. Nice. And then look up. Keeping the head straight, look down. Look left with the eyes, look right. And then look upper left and bottom right. And then really fast, up and down. Okay, and now look upper right and lower left. And really fast. Okay, and then circle all the way around. Ooh, that feels funky, huh? Look up and around both directions. Good. And then one last time, warm the hands again. Supposed to be some pressure points too when you rub the hands together and even if it's hot out the warmth still feels nice for the eyes kind of wakes them up a little bit and now a little pressure here topping right above the eyes with the eyes open bring some moisture to the eyes okay and let's inhale exhale Bring the palms together. So I hope that felt nice. Um, it's a great quick break, um, especially if you've just been sitting all upper body work. So thank you for joining and see you next time. Bye.